said, Mom, let me try to work with you a little first. Okay. Hey, yeah. Put this on. Hey, hey, hey. I know you're so nervous. I can tell. <laughs> oh, I can smell your food. I can smell your food. Yes, I can. It's okay. Technique on that one, how to brush a 
the dog. It's here, 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 here. Go all the way that way, little by little. And you can do a little, any dog. This is the same on any dog. You're going to start, you might have to start down there. I know, you don't like it? Okay. See, you don't like it, right? If you don't like it, I, personally, I'd be like, let's just shave it all off. You don't like it. Don't brush every day. Shave it all off and brush none. And then I'll see you in a couple months and we'll shave it all off again. Just, if you don't like it, don't do it. So there's a, we'll, we'll talk with the options when I go in there. This is our first groom. She's uh, over about an hour away. And we did mobile today, but she said she may come to the salon and just wanted to make sure basically I could, I could actually accomplish something, I think. You never know. She didn't say that, but that's my opinion. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, I know. You don't like it. Okay, okay. So right there, I'm just like, we're shaving this baby. We're, you're not going to do this over and over, right? You're okay. You're okay. Okay, I'll stop. I'm going to stop. I, I feel you on it. Okay, so we're gonna go. So I'm gonna just kind of take this. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it no more. I'm not gonna. We're gonna stick straight. Take this off and do. I know y'all don't like this out there, but you just you gotta make a call uh, for what the pet is kind of like willing to tolerate. And right now, I just want to get all this off. I'm gonna worry about if I have to fade anything out, I'll worry about that after. See all this is he's not gonna let me team out this. It's too painful. That's because he enjoys a pool. Okay, 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 okay. It's okay. okay. <laughs> it's okay. You're all right, man. You're all right. See how mad that is? Too much. Okay, 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 oh my. Touching him here, like giving him some love here. So we gotta work with the hindies. We gotta stand up. Okay, we gotta stay stood up here. Get this tough stuff out of here, and then maybe we can work with something else. It does smell like anal glands? Funky. Got, at least we got the poop out of the way. Yeah, we're not gonna. <laughs> I'm not, I told mom we're gonna leave a bad move, but, but I really don't want to. Okay, alright, you're alright, man. Well, I will leave it. You want me to leave this, this bum bum? Okay, you're alright. Okay, you can sit down for me. I want to decide here. Okay, let me stand up. Stand up. I know you don't want to, but I really need you so I can see what I need to work with here. So this should be brushed. You gotta brush this every day on these guys. That's my opinion. It's very, he does not like it. It's not. It's very painful. Okay. And every dog's different. More dog, some dogs are more sensitive. I think that's what's happening here. All right.
guard is that, dude? Well, that's a two guard now. The problem is, is if we're not going to brush later, or we have problems brushing, it just doesn't help us in the long run, see? You can't run a comb through all that and stuff there. So I can get it through the top here, but I can't get the guard through the bottom here. And this is not an animal that's going to let us blow dry here. So I'm anticipating, like I'm planning things way ahead of you guys. Like, what are we doing there? If I can't blow dry him, it's going to be a really ugly cut.
I see, I'll remember I had to clean it all out because of the poop. I'm going to leave a little bump on there. I'm just creative. <laughs> Ha ha ha. smarty.
hair is black, everything is black, it's like all against each other. If I had like white right there for a minute, it might help, but it's really kind of hard to see the lighting in here. Color behind it.
dig and all that stuff. I just need to get this out of there. So he doesn't want, want me to. Okay, watch my face. You're good, man. I was okay. like, he, he's gray, so. What? He's gray. Ah, 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 ah. No, 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 stop that. Stop. Wasn't me, man. Wasn't me. Nope. Nope. I know some of you all want me to quit right now. Well, it's not going to happen. I know you don't like it, man. I know you don't like it. See, I'm not even doing anything. I'm not even doing anything. We're not even doing anything. You're good. You're good. It's just a little tiny bit right there that I want to still get. Yeah! That's it. All for that. Except for the nails. while David was cleaning himself up. Which right now he's not even, look at his clothes, David's clothes is laying all over there. Oh, yeah. um, so thank goodness we have a mobile trailer that's enclosed. But um, left a little poof tail, summer cut. I'm gonna try to dry the head a little bit more. I don't know how he's gonna be. His muzzle's been off since the bath. It's just hanging there. I've been slow, trying not to touch him. And uh, we'll just go from there. Thanks for watching DD4 with my favorite groomer. Appreciate y'all. Thanks for supporting us. It's really hard to groom these types of animals. Someone needs to do it. And I'm really glad they called me so that me and him can start learning some trust and, and really working together to get to a better place. Okay. Uh, after the shave down, wow, he's, his temperament is kind of chilled out because we're not trying to brush him. He does not like his nails done and I'm pretty sure that's because they've been quicked a lot. So we're going to have to do a lot of uh, homework with that with the pet parents. So. Uh, we'll keep you in the loop and watch again. Thank you, for, thank you so much. Bye. Hey, hey, you guys. Okay, so I'm back and uh, we are back at the salon. And it was a very, very early morning for us. And I've got to say, um, the Skipper Key, uh, real, real tough groom. He's very, very scared of the nail trimming aspect of everything. That's where he really kind of released everything. And David had mentioned, you know, why didn't they not feed the dog? Because my text message the night before says, please don't feed your pet. Uh, different situations, but in this specific conversation I had with the pet parents a week ago when we booked it, it was, this is, this is the homework. You're not going to feed your baby after 8 p.m. the night before and the morning of the groom, which it was a super early. It was 8 o'clock grooming, 8 a.m. grooming. So uh, David was like, why did they feed him? And I said, they didn't feed him. And then when I found out inside, they did feed the pet. So follow the, if your groomer says don't feed, don't feed there's a reason and, and there's it sounded like um she didn't relate to the daughter who fed the dogs don't feed the the dogs or don't feed that pet for the before the grooming okay so now we're on track but there was poop everywhere david got poop all over him 
pee everywhere, if anal glands everywhere. Um, you have an hour drive home. It's not. It's not fun if you can. If you can imagine. And um, this is what we do. I la I was laughing. And I was like, this is just what we do. But he's like, but you tell them not. You know, and it's true. I tell them don't feed your pets because if we already know your baby poops at the veterinarian or your baby, you know, all these different things happen. And I don't remember if that's exactly the situation, but th there was a reason why I was like, hey, you know, no feeding. So don't feed. You got a really hyper dog, anxiety, anger, fear biter, biter, aggressive, all these d d during grooming or high th going to the veterinarian, don't feed the night before, don't feed the day of, and take your pet on a 20 minute walk. Be literally, good, a good 20 minute walk run before you go to the vet, you know. Uh, all based off of obviously your pet's health. So it can't be just a, a very senior dog, you're going to take your pet running. Um, so make that judgment, parents. Now, there's something, we, me and David were talking while we were driving, and um, that dog got really freaked out when I went to, you know, touch, handle the front feet. And I, and I just got to say, uh, it's, it's other people, not always groomers, right? So other people doing nails and hitting the vein every nail over and over for a long time until finally you, you someone like a groomer is not able to touch the pet anymore i mean it's just like ah get away like i don't know what you're doing but you're not my mom you're not you know what i mean like you're the groomer or you're a technician or you're whoever and it's like ah get away until it gets to that point where you, someone cannot even touch the pet um because the pet is so scared of and and been in through pain so I just got. I just am like, why are we quicking every dog's nails over and over? Why? Who is doing it? Stop doing it. And David's like, why are they doing it? I'm like, because they don't know how not to do it. So I don't know what to tell y'all. I know I'm working on this video for toenail trimming, and it's not going to be cheap. It is. There's nothing like it because it's everything I've learned. Okay. And I've done many thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of nails. My job on the weekends that I would go do is just nails all day. All day nails. Can you imagine just all you did was nails all day? You've done a lot of nails. And I can't ask you, I cannot be more strong in saying that. If you are quicking dog's nails at home, even, even some of the pet pa parents have told me they've done it. So it's not a groomer. It's not always a veterinarian. It's not always a vet technician. It's not always... Um, any, it's not, it's not, you can't just say that groomer did. It's not all that. It's, you just don't know all of it. We don't all don't know. Each individual sitting watching this video is going to know about them themselves, their own situation. I'm going to know about my own situation. And you guys see a lot of what I do. I put a lot of what I do on video. And, um, those of you who are hating, if you're even watching this, if you don't like something that I, I do, I just have, I challenge you. This is what I challenge you to do. I put a lot of what I do. Me and David were talking about this. I'm, I'm going to throw this out there. I'm somebody sharing my world with you. And there's hundreds of groomers, veterinarians, vet technicians, all these places that are not sharing. They're, they are not sharing what they do with you. So if you hate on me, if you hate what I do, you think I'm hurting, torturing dog. Okay, I've heard this, okay? If you're hating on me and my job and what I do, when hundreds of people have called me from all over, the, all over to talk, all over the nation, to talk about their dog having a problem, what do they do? This is what they're, this is exactly what I'm doing, what my dog's doing, Dee Dee. What do I do? Where can I go? Who can help me with my dog going through the same thing that Shih Tzu is or that Skipper Key is or that all these things. I'm actually showing you what I do. I put the camera right in my face and down into deep into what I do. And I challenge you who, who you, you know who you are. If you're, I don't even think they're watching that, but go to your local groomer and ask to record. The answer is going to be no. Go sit and try to watch everything that's happening. The answer is you're not going to be able to see it. Because if they've got something to hide, it's not going to be open for you. So I have nothing to hide. Everything I do is either in front of the pet parent or with a team, in a team situation. Um, I have incorporated the pet parent so that everyone can see what's going on. And they don't, they come, many pet parents come to me and say, well, they said she's aggressive, but I have no idea. And I say, well, we're going to find out together today, now. So 
it's enlightening to many and some folks may not agree but if you can't do something in front of a camera or you can't do something in front of a video or in front of the pet parent or if you can't handle it or you can't do it don't do it right you're not going to do it because you might quit you might really nick that dog what are you going to do if you're on camera and you nick a dog how are you going to handle it you might really injure that dog what are you going to do when you're all it's really going to come bite you in the butt you know so some people really are like i we don't like what you whatever i don't care i have my whole world right in your in where you can see it and you complain about it people complain about it what about the hundreds of places that are not showing you what they do why don't you have a problem with those places and uh, maybe you don't realize that they exist either either walking distance from your home they're around your neighbor wherever they're at you can go to your local places and find out can you go watch them groom a dog can you go watch them do the dog's nail trims can you go watch them all day you know i promise you it's not going to be that easy where they're going to be like, yeah come on in i doubt it so the point um, I'm trying to make is my world is open to you guys. I share some of the hardest grooms that are out there. People find me from across the nation. I will coach them. I will go as far as I, I'm paid to go. Um, and like today, that was a far drive and I knew it was expensive. And that's because it's an all day thing. Um, but I'm willing to do what they are willing to do, you know. So thank you those of you who support me, who watch me, who are involved, who know behind the scene when you're at your groomer and you're grooming and you know they're, they would never record. You know what you see. You know what's going on behind the scenes. And um, I just, I challenge you, if you don't like what I do, go to your local areas and ask old local businesses and see, are, would they even allow you to walk in there and record? So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for all the orders. I appreciate you so much. You guys can see a bunch of stuff I got going on here. I sell lots of cat stuff, you guys. And I know I'm gonna do a tour, but I mean, I've got some like really cool cat stuff back there. We have tons of clothing. And so this was not the tour, but um, later when I do the tour, you'll see a bunch of more stuff. We've got everything you could think of, all these masks, um, the shears and scissors. So whatever you need, just know I am supporting many, many, many of you. Amy, you know, you just put in a big order today. Uh, a lot of you have placed big orders, and I appreciate you. Keep grooming, doing what you do, and be there for those pets, and be honest and real, and just stay, say things straight up. I think that that's the best way to go with a, running a business that we run with animals, and uh, be real with your clients. So thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate you. Talk to you soon.